First of all, we want to say how fabulous the show was. It really was great. Thank you. And the audience, I mean, the, audi the energy in the audience, that's very good for South Africa. I've been in New York audiences, and they're mm -hmm. much more uninhibited. This was very uninhibited for South Africa. Well, it's great. Well, and well, what yeah. I yeah. liked uh, the most, I think, about the audience is the, um, the, uh, the spread of ages from yes. you know, literally children yeah, to seniors. Totally. And, and, and a lot of young you know, a teenagers, young adults. Surprised. I mean, not surprised. They're wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was really great to see them all. You know, we wanted to know the music. what you felt, how Tiam had impacted on you as an artist over the years. Well, first of all, I don't I honestly don't believe I could be doing what we do to the degree that we do it in terms of sheer volume of shows if I didn't have uh, Tiam as as the basis of activity. You know, Marishi said so many times, rest is the basis of activity. And, and w w um, like just before I came over to do the concert, I was meditating for, you know, quite a while, doing my TM City program. And it's, it's a huge help. It's inestimable. Es estimable yeah, yeah, help. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, the funny thing is you have a quality of silence amidst all that incredible energy. And we really picked it up. Maybe because we're, but we're also sitars, we could see it. But there is that quality of, Richard said, that sort of silent, stable quality that's there with all the energy. You can see it. Yeah, I think there are plenty of people in the public eye that get overshadowed by either the fame and the celebrity of it or they get anxious or stage fright or whatever it may be. But... but um, I honestly think that uh, that uh, when you've grounded yourself in yourself, I mean the big self, uh, to whatever degree you're able to do do that, um, then I think your actions are supported accordingly, um, and actually direct proportion to how rested you are and uh, how much you've been able to contact that source of energy and creativity within before coming out. It's like in the Bhagavad Gita, draw the arrow back and let, the, let it fly. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm the, uh, or the one original member in this uh, touring entourage. My cousin Brian, he does his own thing from time to time. One of the other original fellows, Alan Jardine, he and I both went to teacher training TM teacher but training he's together. Not he's not here. No. no. You've done teacher's training? Yes. I In no 1972. Idea. So wow. Lantia, Mallorca. Yeah, it was Mallorca, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I was in Lantia in 72. Oh, really? Oh, I've initiated wow. 7,000 people now. My goodness. Yeah, so You're ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> We're teaching about We're 15 doing different things. <laughs> one foot on earth and one in heaven, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Amazing. So, look, we don't have to take more of your time, yeah. Shame. I'm sure you're tired. No, it's not, not okay. a problem at all. So what advice would you give to young musicians or coming up? Well, now? I think people create in spite of the things they sometimes attribute to the creative process. Like some people think that, that it's advisable to do drugs or, you know, and some people get a little self-medicated through alcohol or drugs or whatever. Maybe, maybe you're not feeling so great uh, at their stage of life or in their station in life, but uh, I would highly recommend that they at least try uh, TM and give it a good good shot at, at, and good practice it regularly so they can really gauge the, uh, the effects on the quality of life. For instance, if you're anxious, tired, frustrated, irritable, and all those things. It's biochemical, biochemical. And your bloodstream is riddled with all these, you know, things that aren't so great. And that's why you don't feel so great. So, with the TM program, at least, um, there's a way to change that biochemistry. And, and purify that bloodstream and therefore you feel so much more relaxed and yet have more clarity with which to 
make better decisions in, in your lifestyle choices and so on. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, if the first time I learned TM was in Paris, we were initiated by Maharishi at the Hotel Crayon in pa Paris, and I was thinking, uh, um, as we meditated that first time together, I was thinking this is such a simple technique that anyone could do it, and if everyone did it, it would be an entirely different world. And that still holds true. I know it to be true, but um, and uh, someday through the forces of evolution and survival of the fittest, I think it will become more of a reality than maybe it is at the current time. Yeah. And then you were with Maharishi in India when the Beatles were there as well, weren't you? Right. Yeah. Great. Are you going to make it to this New York benefit, this Clint Eastwood David Lynch on Monday? When is it? No. It's on Monday. It's too soon. No, no, I don't think yeah. so. Because I'll, I'll be going back from here to through Holland. And oh, no, it's true. Yeah. 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 And, they, and that, they're putting the funds towards the um, uh, people suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Oh, from that's the, right. From yeah. the veterans. That's a good thing. Back. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's great. I didn't realize Clint Eastwood the was going to be there. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, Martin Scorsese is going to be there. And wow. A lot of the veterans themselves. Wow, that's great. It's going to be fabulous. Kate Perry and... Oh, yeah? Mm. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. That's great. Mike, thank you so much. Jake, you're welcome.